soybeans, wheat, sugar beets, corn. Nebraska is one of the biggest agricultural producers in the United States. Field to field, crop to crop, every farmer uses a different amount of water. How do we keep track of such diverse water use? The Landsat satellites gives us the ability to see individual fields. We can see what they are growing in each field and how much water is being consumed from each field. So that is a great satellite that gives us so much information about our planet. We use what we call a surface energy balance. We know the amount of energy coming in from sunlight. Some of that energy is released as heat, which is measured by Lenset's thermal infrared sensors. At the same time, water used by evaporation and transpiration cools the surface, lowering the temperature of the fields and limiting the amount of heat seen by the thermal sensor. And we solve the energy balance for all these components. The energy balance then yields the ET, which is the water that was consumed. We receive a monthly data set of uh, the metric ET data. So we've got uh, for May, June, July, August, September, uh, we basically are getting a inches of water used uh, on the landscape. So it covers the whole entire NRD. Let's take an aerial view of this. Landsat measures the health of individual plants and the temperature of the land. As we move into summer, temperatures increase. Irrigated fields look cool because water evaporates from the soil and transpires from the plants. You can see ET peak midway through the growing season when corn needs the most water. By tracking monthly ET, resource managers know how much water each field has used. The Central Platte Natural Resources District uses these measurements to plan their water budget. We need to maintain um, kind of a balanced uh, groundwater aquifer system. We don't want to deplete it. We don't want to overfill it. Of course, if you overfill it, it runs out. But yeah, that's our goal is to uh, maintain uh, the uh, large amount of irrigation we have here in the valley and um, being able to do that on a sustainable basis. Metric, the system used for measuring ET, was developed in the early 2000s. Today, it's being used by 15 states across the United States. Water is important in this region, and, and having this data now really helps us to use that water wisely and make wise decisions. <laughs>